How's it going, everybody? And there we are. And that he may make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. That's the sheep. Hopefully you've watched the last two days Bible study at least as we've gone through this. Um, but starting at Romans 8 would have been best. But starting at the beginning of the Romans playlist would even be even tops, wouldn't it? Which he had a four prepared unto glory before when, see yesterday's study, or the day before is Ephesians 1, 4 and 5, for he has chosen us in him from what? Before the foundation of the world. The sheep were chosen before the earth was formed. God's plan for his bride was set in stone. Sheep are born lost. Jesus only calls his lost sheep. Jesus said, I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They get the call, which is spiritual baptism. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word of God is Jesus. And Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And John the Baptist said, one will come after me, baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire. The fire are the fiery trials you go through in 1 Peter 4.12. 1 Peter 4.12, King James Version, Bible Gateway. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened to you. So when you get baptized by the Holy Spirit, the Lord starts turning your body, your mind, your heart, your soul. Um, this was told to you in Jeremiah 31, verses 31 through 34. God said, I will put my law in your inward part, in their inward parts and write it on their hearts. That's your baptism by the Holy Spirit. He said, I will be my, I will be their God and they will be my people. Who is God's people? It's the sheep. The rest belong to Satan when Jesus said, year of your father, the devil. Okay, so. Which is the divine feminine spirit. He has shapeshifted to the female goddess. T-R-A-N-S-G-E-N-D-E-R. E D or just E R. So uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Even us. Who's the us? The she, whom he have called. Oh, it's not a free will decision. It's a calling. Not of the Hebrew Jewish bloodline only, but also after the Gentile sheep. As he saith also in Osi, I call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Esaias also crieth concerning Israel. The Hebrew bloodline, though the number of the children of the bloodline be as the sand of the sea, and the remnant shall be saved, and a remnant shall be saved. That remnant that shall be saved is what Romans 11 is about, and I do a very detailed study on that on my playlist. You can go down and check it out, but of course we'll be covering it over a two or three day span also coming soon. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. I think that might be the just three and a half days of the great tribulation they're talking about. I'm not really sure about that one, though. But Esaias said before, except the Lord of the Sabbath had left us seed, we had been as Sodoma and been made like unto Gomorrah. Hmm. What shall we say then that the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is faith? In other words, they've been called. Faith is a proper call, the proper walk. So it's fascinating. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, 
have not attained the law of righteousness, wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone. Semicolon. End of today's study. All part of God's plan that you're reading. Revelation 12 continues. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman, the bride, the sheep, which brought forth the man-child, the Jewish bloodline, the Hebrew bloodline, specific, actually. And I wonder if that's kind of alluding to many of them became goats but the remnant gets the call they are the last to get the call to christ once the final number of non-hebrews sheep get the call all at the abomination of desolation of course and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness once they get the call they i think that remnant will be protected i feel or will be once God ends the great tribulation. They get the seal upon their foreheads during the wrath of God and are protected. Something like that. I'm not real sure how that all works. It's very ambiguous. Into her place where she is nourished for a time, times and half from the face of the serpent. Hmm. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened up her mouth, swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Love you very much. Ask course, any time. That's what I'm here for.